Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron. Um, we're here in my creative world, which you may have seen briefly in other things. It's still loading. Um, I just wanted to show something that was kind of cool that I've been using to work on some uh, designs here. So I'm thinking of building a cactus farm and uh, researching some of the layouts. I wanted to fit into a 16 by 16 interior Sorry, that would be 17 by 17 interior so that the water all flows into a central drainage hole so that I can throw a hopper down and a chest. Uh, so I was playing around with different layouts and um, using saw blocks and signs as breakers and uh, trying to minimize the number of breakers and maximize the number of plants. And I had settled on this as what the design I was going to use, which is uh, pretty cool um, but uh, then I realized that without using solid blocks as breakers you can literally just use signs that was that was kind of a dull moment but uh, uh, so in this this way we get in 64 uh, plants uh, so let me show you the little trick that is using to test efficiency um, one of the features that was uh introduced in the recent snapshots was hi sorry let me walk around here um one of the features that was introduced in recent snapshots is uh the ability to control the rate at which random things that are randomized based on time in the game um how frequently they work so i built a little uh, stand up here and uh so we can say uh game mode uh oops. game mode oh no game rule sorry game rule random tick speed and the default is three i have it set to zero right now and zero means nothing happens so all the things that might happen based on time like things growing creatures spawning stuff like that don't happen it just won't happen if it's random just based on time um, the default is three and you can have it tell you what the current is by just doing that and um, So three is the normal and in which case these guys are going to go grow, you know, kind of slowly um, But we can bump and normally what you would do to test efficiencies You might sit here and let it sit for an hour and then measure how many cactus drop Well, you don't have to do that if you just turn up the speed really quick and you can see they just start popping away. Uh, so you can let this run for a couple of minutes and get an hour's worth of data, which is pretty cool. So we'll let this go a little bit. This messes up my frame rate pretty bad, as you can imagine, because I've got all kinds of little cactus blocks dropping and falling down into the water and flowing down into the into the, the little chests. Um, yeah, so... Uh, this guy over here, let's see if I can fly over there. Again, the frame rate is kind of bad. So here I was playing around with using jack-o'-lanterns as the breaker blocks, um, or the putting the signs on them, um, to put some light in so that I don't get mob spawn when I block this off. Um, and then you, you might be able to guess why I'm building this inside a circle. Um, so yeah, here we get this, and you see it's going pretty good. Now it's not, not going to do this during the game, of course, because uh, I've got it. I'm telling it to go a thousand times faster than it normally would. Uh, but but get a good idea of what the yields will be over time. We don't want to let this run too long because stuff may uh, get hung up going down into the hopper here. See the hopper isn't picking; it's not able to transfer down into the chest fast enough. Um, and, and if anything sits in there for too long, I think, you know, five minutes, uh, it'll despawn. So we don't want to run this for more than five minutes, um, cause that's not necessarily, uh, representative of real, you know, the real game. So I'll let this run for a little bit and then we can just change the game speed back to zero and that just turns everything off. 
and then we can go in and give it a little time see my frame rate still <laughs> really bad uh, but you can see this hopper has a few stacks of things going on it and it's got less than a stack down there and stuff's still flowing in so we're going to need to give it some time this hopper is full and there's a half a stack in the chest already so i i was playing with designs that were similar to this one and uh, this one proved to be more efficient uh, I, I had no no doubt at all that this was going to be the most efficient way of uh, of doing this so it, it doesn't surprise me this is going to win handily because this has i think 40 cactus plants in it and this has 64. so this should be you know a third or uh, 50 percent more more efficient uh one cool thing while we're waiting for all of our cactus blocks to flow down into the hoppers you see they're still going over here and they're still flowing over here uh, interesting you seem to be stuck okay um one thing that this uh the random tick speed could be used for is to make interesting world maps uh adventure maps um especially using the world border because if i put something down i wanted to play around with this a little bit um ooh, actually saplings were right there so if i wanted to put down a sapling let me go uh move some of this stuff into here these are all the things you need uh to uh to build the uh the the farm that's why i have them on the, the hot bar there uh but if we go in we say uh bone meal pick up some bone meal um i wanted to see if with the random tick speed yeah so um stuff that the player does will still work but if i go plant a tree and let it sit you know forever it won't my understanding is it won't ever grow if i had the tick speed turned way up it would grow almost instantly um but i should be able to bone meal it into an actual tree wow it grew into a nice big tree with branches and everything okay that's cool um so that would be a way of making um somewhat uh, resource constrained maps is by um putting people into places where they only have so many trees so many resources and uh planting planting new crops won't work so if you put them in and there were already some carrots or potatoes or wheat in the ground at full you know if the map contained them at full growth already then that would be one thing and people would have to be very careful about how they went about using those uh, because they would not be able to grow anymore okay so this one's done and i got five stacks five and a half, five stacks plus 18 and this one over here come on so six stacks plus 43 and it's still flowing in and i've got two more stacks so yeah this this one this one's the winner handily which i figured would be the case um because it's just so many more i think this is might be able to might do another iteration i have an idea i could pack these in kind of diagonally and might be able to put in a few more plants um but i think this will work for all the more cactus that i really need this is going to be plenty sufficient i'm just mostly building a cactus farm because i want to figure out a good way of doing it and uh I'm not uh, I didn't love any of the tutorials that I've seen on the on YouTube so far so anyway uh, I thought that was kind of cool and let's go oh now we know the winner we can uh, play around some more with this so let's turn the uh, the game tick thing back up really high and if I plant a tree are you not gonna grow at all what's going on it's high oh there we go okay 
Interesting. I wonder if that has any impact on the way the tree grows. And I don't know what the upper limit. 30,000 seems kind of high. And this might just get... There, there's probably an upper limit to how high it can go, practically. <laughs> so, three is the default value. Interesting, okay. Um, so yeah, an adventure map where you want to constrain resources, you might preload it with some trees, uh, might preload it with, with some uh, crops and some animals, the animals are never going to let's see you could breed them if you set the uh, the game ticks to zero you could breed them you could um, um, you could if you had bone meal you could plant new crops or you could grow new crops but it would take bone meal um, so if you were controlled about uh, things like mobs so the in that case i guess you know building a, a mob farm building a skeleton farm would be very important but uh, anyway so that's that uh, i've got another iteration i'm going to try here probably going to take this one down because it doesn't doesn't work as well as this and then um, build here and you can see this one's taller i built these i started these up one higher i need to uh oops i bounced um, so I need to see if I can, I, I know I can just build this shorter like this because I don't need the extra height because this is going to be tall, but it's not, um, I want to fit as many layers inside as I can. So anyway, uh, that's that. Thank you for watching and, uh, I will show you progress as I make it. All right. Oh, here comes the rain. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Spooky.